Man City Power of Tower. Is that Tower of Power? Hey everyone, I'm David. And I am Haley. Welcome back to The Soccer Show, where we talk all things soccer. All things. This past week, the bottom of the table gave us the goods. These games right now, they're fighting for their lives. They're exciting. We had this uh, late 96 minute winner from Vitricky Sorry for Birmingham City to give Birmingham the tie, and you just see how much it means to them. Um, Haley, the last episode, I did teach you how to say Birmingham. Birmingham. There we go. Not only that, Haley, but my Arsenal pretty much secured third place, earning us a Champions League spot. Check this goal out from Kate McCabe. Perfect little dink. And then Kim Little, injury time PK. Beautiful. You'd love to see it. All right. Time for some key moments this week. First up, an unfortunate own goal for Bristol City in a 1-0 loss to Manchester United. And this keeps them bottom of the table. They need a win this week versus Brighton. Otherwise, they are absolutely the team that is heading down to the second division. Hey, they were actually unlucky against United. They were. Like, they did all right. And it was a good little finish off Press's shot for that own goal. Um, but it, I, I, I felt bad for them because you. I don't know why you want them to do well, right? You do. And they're, they're fighting. So they're really fighting right now. And, and overall, it wasn't a bad performance. So yeah. again, this, this is a tough space to be, but you know, one team's kind of be in this position and it makes the last week that much more important. Very exciting for us. Listen, next up, Legal Ming scores for Brighton, but this is insane, Hayley. This is insane, right? Yeah, they're ready. 2 0 down, okay? She scores. 30 seconds later, literally from the kickoff, I don't think I've ever seen it, from the kickoff, I'm going to be really American. She hustles, right? Puts, she puts a press on immediately, strips a ball, just bangs it from 25 yards to tie the game up. Now, that is unbelievable. You know, like, I'm not a big Brighton fan, and I, I loved that, but I was also quite glad that they lost the game in the end. That, but, though, was, that was the moment. But that's movie stuff, eh? Hey? It's just yeah. like hockey. Moving on, um, Viv Minima had a lovely goal this week in their first game of the week. She turns her player on the left foot, just absolutely smashes this thing into the far corner through traffic. Not a lot the goalkeeper can do there. I do think maybe, you know, your defender can give you a little bit of help and just stick your body in front of the ball there. But overall, an unbelievable strike. And she, end of the season, has completely found her form. Yeah, she's just different gravy. Like, I would love to to see her in the NWSL, to be honest. She's she's absolutely class. So I'm going to move on to uh, a little respect for Farrah Williams moment. Um, so I believe it is Farrah's last uh, home game. So she takes a penalty and just dinks it down the middle. You hate that if you're a goalkeeper, don't you? You hate it. You see it slowly go by. Yeah, you're like, but class. And then they go, I don't know what you'd call that. Like... When you give them like a clap innovation when they come on, what do you call that? When both teams do it, I don't know. It was, it was very American. It was nice to see in the English nice. league. But yeah, so massive respect for Farrah Williams. Like played so many times for England. Like absolute what a career. fantastic professional. Yeah. Okay, my last one is my save za of the week segment. It has evolved. Now there are several save. Hannah Hampton had a fantastic game against Manchester City. I know they lost 4-0, but in particular, she had Caroline Weir's number here, making three save, one off a penalty kick. This stunner diving to her left, coming back across her body. And then finally here, ball gets down, first time blast, and she's just in a good spot. So an incredible performance from Hannah. I do think this game probably could have been eight, nine, 10, nothing if she wouldn't have stood on her head. Hayley, honestly, this is, this is why I love working with you because a team gets smashed 4-0 and somehow you give that keeper the, the fictional save of the week because it isn't a thing. And player of the match. But yeah, okay, they lost 4-0. But anyway, listen, it's actually quite a sad week because was a you know, like there's two players that I've been on all season, which is Lauren Hemp and Chloe Kelly. And Chloe Kelly played really well. You know, she's back at it with another fantastic goal. And then 
she went down inside the box and you knew like when she went down you knew um and she was in agony and i'm really unfortunate for her it's an acl um which honestly like you can't say much about it just sucks it's it's disgusting and it wasn't vicious players like i've seen so many players come through the acl and you know if, if i'm if i'm chloe kelly obviously take a few days but i'm reaching out to sam and then reaching out to christy muis because you know, Mewis's comeback from an ACL was, was it was superhuman. Sick and, you know, hopefully Chloe does the same thing because she's been on fire. So, you know, fantastic performance for her, but gutted all in the same one. So hopefully she gets back. Um, but, you know, I would tell her to take her time as well because she's got, she's got the skill, she's got the talent. Just make sure you come back 100%. It sucks. Best of luck in her recovery. Yeah, we are all we are all rooting and we will be following along. All right, today we are so lucky to be joined by former England international Laura Bassett. Laura played all over the Super League. She's played for Chelsea, she played for Arsenal, she played for Birmingham, she played for Notts County, and she was my teammate at Canberra in Australia. Laura, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I know far too many clubs on that list, Cox. <laughs> you you you've been everywhere. <laughs> just i'd like to say in demand but i don't know about that <laughs> today we are talking about league players from wsl that are olympic hopefuls so we're gonna throw a few players at you and all we want are your thoughts now we do know that you will lose some friends in this segment and <laughs> that's why we've done it <laughs> We're here to make your life hard. All right, starting us off, talk to us a little bit about somebody where we know is a lock. Talk to us about Lucy Bronze. I mean, she's just up there, isn't she, with the world's best player. She just delivers on every occasion. And I think what sets Lucy apart, apart from her technical and tactical ability, is just her mentality. You know, I think as English people, we always strive to be like the Americans with their American mentality and winning mentality. But because of Lucy's experiences in America, short term with, with the college team and, and at Leon, I think what she brings back to the England squad and Team GB, it will be, is just her mentality winning, you know, not settling for anything. Um, so she's got a big role to play and it's just exciting to see her grow and be back in the English Super League. So is she in? Yes. Laura Bassett says she's in. <laughs> I'm going to go straight to Scotland and Caroline Weir. Um, it's really interesting. I just think as a Team England, we haven't got no one like her in the midfield. Um, her balance on her left foot, her vision, awareness, and her, th- the things that she can supply with goals and assists. I just think England, we've been lacking that player. So for Team GB, I would include that. I just think she can add so much. She's versatile. You could play a higher up and you know, get into, she sees space and identifies space, either moving into it or she can play the balls to, to exploit the space. That goal she had against Manchester United, that cheeky little chip, like I think about that once a week. Cops, if we were playing, we'd just stand and clap because sometimes you have to applaud. Straight up. Like, and that we'd look just, at each other and be like, yeah. It's just different level, isn't it? Like, like it's just the, the thought process is just a bit different. Reminds me of me at five a side. <laughs> <laughs> Who's next up, Cop? All right, let's 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 go to one of your mates, Jill Scott. She's on loan at Everton, and she's been very good for Everton. I think that was a great move for her. Yeah, me too. I think what she's added to Everton, the energy, the impetus, and I think Willie Kirk often speaks about her leadership um, and what she, you know, the kind of standards that she sets um, for the rest of the Everton players. But all credit to Jill. I think she recognised that she wasn't getting the minutes at Man City. You know, knew that. You know, if the Olympics and Team GB was an aspiration of hers, she needed to be playing minutes. And it's a, it's a nice story, isn't it, Luke Round? Because she started her early career at Everton. So I'm really pleased for her that she's made such a good impact at Everton. And she definitely de- deserves to be in the Team GB, in my opinion. What she offers to the squad, the leadership skills, um, and how good she is around the camp. She yeah. really is the, the gel that connects everyone. So Jill Scott is in. Yes. I've got, a feeling that, I've got a feeling that Bass is taking a squad of 30. <laughs> <laughs> this is the good 
part you don't have to choose. Exactly. I'm going back to Scotland um, with Kim Little. I mean, she's in. I'll, I'll say that now. You don't have to wait. My answer's straight away. She's yeah. in. With Kim Little, I just think, I just think look, it epitomises everything she did this week. Scoring with the last kick of the game, the penalty kick. Penalty kick? Who says that? I've been in America too long? But um, the penalty, stepping up, knowing that the pressure's on you, the moment to, you know, secure Champions League football for your club. You're the leader. You're the captain. Step up in them big moments. Not only did she finish it, but to put it top, yeah. top corner and just trot away. I just think she's the player. In tournament football, you need players that are going to step up, own, own the performance, demand the ball, set-piece queen. Um, she has to go. I, th- I actually think if Kim Little was English, we would have achieved more. Oh, 100%. She, I always say like she's the missing link for us. Well, I think we would have maybe beaten the US, Haley in the semi-final if we had Kim Little. <laughs> I like how you called me out. <laughs> yeah, well, you're the only American. <laughs> you're the only American. <laughs> Bass, this has been absolutely awesome. We might need to like just double down. We could talk to you truly all day about all this stuff, but you are so good. You are such a professional. There is a reason you are called upon now to be kind of one of the voices of the game and truly an expert. So we are so lucky to have had you. No, my pleasure. Thanks. Wow. Liam. I would have got the invite a bit sooner. I've had to wait a while. <laughs> that's, that's, I've never heard her be so nice about anyone. That was kind of me. Really? Oh, wow. Yeah, she's got to be. She's got to be nice. You are welcome on anything we're doing anytime. Oh, thank you. So kind, Cox. That's it for us on the soccer show this week. I'm David. And I am Haley. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. And also subscribe to the Just Women Sports newsletter. It's a lot of fun. So good, twice a week, direct to your inbox. Plus you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. And you should really check out the Snacks podcast hosted by Sam Mewis and Lynn Williams. It is a can't miss. Cool. Are they are they giving us shout outs? I expect it back now. Right, if they don't, we're, we're not giving them another shout out. Guys, we will see everybody next week. Thanks guys.